Woods was released after serving less than eight months in jail. He then enrolled at Fresno City Junior College, earning his associate's degree and becoming a two-time Junior College All-American. In 2002, during his second year there, a number of Division I schools, including the University of Oregon, considered offering Woods a scholarship, but the felony on his record raised concern. We were looking at the integrity of our program and really the reputation of what we've built. And uh, though we, we may go through some scrutiny uh, with the, the action that we took with the reduction, uh, there could be far more, uh, we felt, if, if it was not reduced. In January of 2003, Woods had three years of probation remaining on his sentence. Yet his attorney filed a motion to have the felony assault charge reduced to a misdemeanor. The main reason for me to reduce it from a felony to a misdemeanor was for Mr. Woods to have the opportunity of a Division I scholarship. That was the sole reason. We admitted it from the very beginning. In an attempt to expedite the matter, letters from Oregon head coach Mike Bellotti and one of his assistants, Nick Aliotti, were included in a packet of information sent to the judge on Woods' behalf. The university was facing a deadline. It was prepared to offer Woods a scholarship beginning in the fall semester of 2003, but only if Woods' felony charge was reduced to a misdemeanor in time for Woods to enroll. What I did in writing the letter was a timeline. It says specifically in the letter, we're not trying to affect the justice or the decisions of the court. It is merely a timeline to make them aware that if these things happen, then he can do it. And if not, we need to know so we can move on as he can move on with his life. So I don't think I had any influence on any court or any jury decision or anything else. We felt in this particular case after doing all the research and it was quite in depth that Rodney Woods deserved that scholarship if indeed his felony was reduced. If the decision had gone the other way, we were going to offer that scholarship to another student athlete. Why did they go to the criminal justice system to manipulate that system to get what they wanted?